So what you need to do when you want to send an email through SMTP, the first important thing is when you want to send an email or receive an email through Gmail, okay, first you need to understand uh, the basics of uh, what is POP, what is SMTP, what is IMAP, right? So these terms you should be familiar with, okay? So these are the email protocols which are used actually. So even if you use Outlook, these protocols are used, but these are handled by the Outlook application itself when we use Outlook. So we don't need to worry about them, okay? But when we want to use things without Outlook directly with the Gmail, then you need to understand what is POP3, what is IMAP, and what is SMTP, okay? So POP3 is basically called as post office protocol which means that it's used in earlier days. So long, long back, very long back, they used a protocol called POP3. The significance of POP3 is like, uh, see the mail will be in server and once you access the email, the mail will be deleted from the server. You're getting it, maybe you can relate it to WhatsApp images. So uh, we can relate to that, okay? See, uh, there is an image sent to you, right? But uh, once you access it and over a period of time, then what happens to the image? I sent you an image through WhatsApp, okay? And after one month, will you be able to still download from WhatsApp? It will be deleted. So, so not exactly here it uses pop, but I'll, I'll just want to relate things to you with, with the known example, okay? So, uh, so pop3 ensures that uh, first thing is mail will be in server only till it is clicked by some person. When some person clicked the mail, the copy of mail will be deleted from server that should be downloaded in the local system. Second thing, when we use three, when we use pop and when we have multiple recipients, if any one of the recipient opens the email, then for others it won't be visible. So that is what which comes under pop three. And of course, we are not using it pop three for, for any of any of this nowadays. Okay. So almost every mail server is IMAP now. Okay. So pop three is basically a protocol to receive emails with these two rules. Okay. When we talk about IMAP, okay, so IMAP means Internet Message Access Protocol, okay, so this ensures that this is also a mail receiving protocol, but this ensures that the email is not deleted, it will be in server also, for the email is sent, so everyone will have a copy of that email in their inbox and in the local, even though uh, mail will be there in server, okay. Third thing is SMTP, so Secure Mail Transfer Protocol which means that this protocol is used to send emails only, okay? With SMTP, you will not be able to receive emails. SMTP is used only to send emails, okay? First, I'll tell you how uh, to enable those through in your in your mail account, okay? So maybe I'll, I'll take any of these uh, Gmail IDs. I'll show you things from scratch, okay? So first, you log into your Gmail provider and click on this settings and scroll all the way down uh, to see all settings on the top. So click see all settings. And here you will find something called forwarding and pop and IMAP. So you will find this option. So come down, click this enable pop for email, enable IMAP, right? And then save changes. This is the first thing that you have to do, okay? You have to basically enable pop and IMAP. So click set, see all settings, come to forwarding and pop IMAP. So make sure that these two are in green, okay? Pop is enabled and IMAP is enabled. By default, this will not be in green, but if you want, you have to enable these two, okay? Second thing is to create an app secret because with, with pop and IMAP, okay? So when you want to send emails, you cannot send or receive using your existing gmail password that will not work anymore okay so we have to create a specific secret for the specific app so what you have to do we have to click on uh, this click on manage your google account so earlier we went, we went to settings but now i'm clicking this and clicking this manage your google account okay so come here uh, come to security scroll all the way down First, we need to turn on this two-step verification, okay? It is now turned off, so I want to turn it on, okay? Uh, get started. Enter your password. Okay, continue.
okay and turn it on okay second thing is you have to create an app password okay uh, two step verification it is now done app password right so inside two step verification we got the option for app password so click this icon app passwords and then so choose anything okay you can use other or something okay and i would say uh, ua path anything so just for your information okay click generate so now you got a password called app password this app password is specifically used only for this application okay so but anyway you can use it anywhere uh, but but the thing is that even if you change your gmail password this app password will not change okay so if you want to delete this app password you can delete the password so whoever you share the password they will not be able to access it anymore uh, but instead you can generate another password if you want in future so now we have this app password then i can use ua path to send and receive emails through gmail let it open okay so what we're going to do is we're going to try to send an email and to receive an email through gmail okay so open main workflow first to receive an email okay i'll go to activities and we have to use this uh, option called get imap mail messages okay for for reading an email and you have to use this send SMTP mail message for sending an email. Okay. First, I use set IMAP mail messages, go to properties, and I have to configure everything. So, inbox uh, port. So, for this, yeah, it is 9 and 10. The server will be uh, imap.gmail.com. Okay. And then, what is the password? Right. We have the app password right so you have to paste this password here okay and then I leave everything blank so if you want to retrieve only top 30 just mention top 30 okay in the email put your mail address it is a qa path batch zero one at gmail.com okay and i think things are done so no need to do anything else the whatever message you retrieve you save it in uh, mails okay in, in a variable called mails and if you open the variables that will be a list of mail messages okay now i'll use a message box so i put mails.count okay and then i would debug this so I wouldn't say that this is an alternative for Outlook, but anyway, it's always good for us to know two things, okay? So not just with Outlook, but also let us learn how to do things with Gmail as well. Now the mails are received, and if I click mails.count, so I got 10, okay? Uh, because that, that's the maximum email I have, okay? Even though I said 30, so I have only to, I have only 10 emails here in this uh, mailbox, okay? Inbox, send SMTP mail message to subject body, right? And then I will come here to set the port so you said for six and server is smtp.gmail.com right and then email ua path batch 01 at gmail.com password so is what we created the app password right so that's the password right and then uh, is body HTML. Maybe you can set it as true or false. That's okay. And then from, so you can mention, so from whom are we sending? Uh, I would say this should be the name, I believe. Okay. So this is the address. Okay. I, I put uh, maybe first I leave things empty and check. Okay. If not, I, I'll set things. Okay. So I would like to send this email. Right. Mail is sent now. I'll open my Gmail. 
go to send items see the email has been sent right and then i would receive that email account so we got this email here right 